Hi there. So getting your hands on full text of articles is essential for your research. Don't try and write from abstracts. Abstracts are great for scanning, but remember they only serve a purpose to help you decide whether you want to read the article or not. So um, finding full text of articles can be a little tricky. Your library at the university may not necessarily subscribe to databases or journals, um, and some of the articles that you want may um, be not be indexed in the databases that they have. So um, searching more broadly can be helpful, and this is really great for pre-reading, but remember when you're doing your systematic review and you have to document everywhere you search, this is probably not exactly what you want to do. The goal of this video is to get your hands on the PDFs of articles. So I went ahead and searched in Google Scholar for cannabis dosage forms, and I got 29,000 results. And um, you can, in Google Scholar, add a little bit into the advanced search, and so you could probably pull in some syntax from, uh, from another builder. Um, but more to the point here, what I want to show you is that this indicates where you can get your hands on the article itself. And there are very few. I mean, it's 29,000, and this is searching the entire internet, so it's not searching from within libraries. And so that can be really problematic if I want to find something. In this case, I would need to log into ResearchGate to even see if the PDF is widely available, and I can, through my subscription or my membership there, download it. So um, there's got to be a better way to do this, and there is. So there's a plugin that uh, I want to pop back on over and show you how to get here. Um, there's a plugin called, it used to be called Capernio, and it's now called EndNote Click. So EndNote seems to be buying everything. Um, but uh, formerly Capernio, if you just do a general search for EndNote Click, you're going to come up here, and then you're going to click on the page that I was just on, which is the Chrome Web Store. So it's Chrome because I'm in the Chrome browser. If you're in Safari, you're going to go into a different um, uh, a, a extensions store. Um, but we say store, this is, it's free. So um, this is already installed here on Chrome, and um, I believe it's now compatible with Safari, probably with Firefox and other web browsers. And this is absolutely fantastic. So you want to install it. It's already installed. And if I come up here to the top of my screen, you'll see there's a little purple EN, and that means my EndNote click is installed, and it's right next to my Zotero plugin as well. So now I have these two plugins that are going to be really helpful to get, get articles um, right where I need them. So now I'm going to come back on over here, and here I am in PubMed, and I've searched cannabis or marijuana, blah, 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 humans, and uh, again, looking for dosage, and I narrowed down my search to reviews and systematic reviews in English and humans, and now I've got 478 results. So the next step is how many of these articles can I get my hands on? And uh, in, in scrolling through this out of my 478, this is going to narrow everything down. I can go ahead and limit to free full text and full text, but I'm just kind of looking for uh, the reference to support information that I kind of already have in my presentation. So scroll down and you'll see all of a sudden, boom, here's a purple circle. And the purple circle is EndNote Click has already hunted around for a PDF of the article, and it says there's a published version and an open access version. So I want to look at this and say, first, do I need clinical trials and cannabidiolysis seizures? Not really my thing. Uh, effects of THC on averse mirror. Oh, okay, now this is interesting. So what I want to do here is I want to click on View PDF, and I'm going to click on View PDF. It's going to bring me into my locker. So I already logged in at some point. I'm logged in here um, in Google Chrome. But here's the PDF of the article. Isn't it beautiful? And in Biomed Central, I could have gone to Biomed Central and searched there. But here I am. Got the article. I can save it to a locker. And so you can save your PDFs online so you can review, review them anywhere. You can tag them. You can export the reference. Um, you can push this into your EndNote account if you're using EndNote. So this is another way to, to link it into your EndNote account. It doesn't work with Zotero. Um, but, or at least as far as I know, there's no link here because obviously EndNote and Zotero are competing with each other in any case. Um, what I want to do is I want to download the PDF. And so this is where um, taking this extra step and using this plugin can be a huge help because if I download the PDF, click on download locally, and come to the bottom left of the screen here, and you'll see that here's the first author's name and the year. And so it actually pulls metadata into the title of your PDF. So if you download a whole bunch of these, which is something that I'm going to be doing this morning, um, download a bunch of these to a folder, and or just your downloads folder, and then pull them into a file. And then you can go grab a cup of tea, 
open them up and scan through them and read them. It could not be simpler. So um, that's really how EndNote Click works. Uh, I, again, don't own any stock in this. I'm just always looking for shortcuts. But I do want to show you there's one other sort of weird thing that happens. And I think it's around reference 30, 32. Yes, so I think this is it. Let's see. So if I hover over this, it says it, uh, you can either find this not in your locker, not open access, but the publisher version should be available. And so when I click on this, it brings me into a screen and you get these lovely quotes and boom, all of a sudden something red and angry shows up at the top of my screen and it says invalid or corrupt PDF file. So um, if it's invalid and corrupt, it's not going to load anything and this is very bad and we never want to see these angry red things. So I'm going to click out of here for a moment, come back on over here and if I click on the reference itself, it will show me, and this happens almost all the time, with Elsevier full text. When full text is available through Elsevier, for some reason it doesn't get swept in to EndNote Click, and so you end up having to go to the Elsevier site. So while I'm here, I can go ahead and save this to Zotero. I can save my reference here. I've already got it in there, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but then if I click on full text link to Elsevier, then it will take me over there and it will let me download the PDF. Um, if it's not available, it will ask you to purchase it. So this is just one extra step. So when you get that error message, don't assume that all the files are corrupt and something's bad. It's just something in the algorithm isn't working. So that's a tour of EndNote Click, and that should really help you get your first pile of articles to read. And um, also, perhaps, if you have articles that you know the title and you want to find, you could actually, this works just beautifully with PubMed and probably other databases, plug in the full title here, search, and that will show where to find it. And sometimes this gets me into some university library that purchased a copy. And so you never know. So it doesn't, it's not necessarily only free full text versions, but full text when they're available. So I hope this is helpful and happy researching.